In this Onking video, the most requested video I've ever made, I'm going to talk about the searching, PDF reading, and note taking in Add Dialog add on. And yes, I know that's a mouthful. This add on is really cool. It's very complex. It's taken me a long time to get this ready for you, but it is going to be very helpful. Uh, this isn't sponsored by these guys, but I'm going to talk about the Text Sniper app while I'm discussing this because it is really helpful while you're using this add on. And I've put a discount code for this in the description of this video. All right, this is going to be awesome. <laughs> Here we go. This is an incredibly complex add on. Like I said, it's taken me a long time to get this video ready. And I'm going to show you why. So if you go to Tools, Add ons, and I'm going to scroll down until I can find this add on here and you click on the config, there's a lot of settings. There's a lot of things you can tweak. It's a very powerful add-on, but there's a lot going on. Now, if you thought those were all of the settings, you can actually go up to this menu here and click add-on settings, and there's more settings. And then if you go to the add dialog, there's more settings. <laughs> it doesn't end. The good news is most of those you don't need to tweak at all. And I'm going to go over kind of the basics of this add on to make it a little less frightening. I realize it is frightening. Uh, in fact, I was frightened and I had somebody that got on Zoom with me for an hour and walked me through how they are using this in their workflow. So hopefully I can break it down and we can do a very short tutorial here. But know that this video is going to be a very introduction one. Uh, if there's enough desire, then I can do something in the future uh, on something a little bigger. So I'm going to go to the ad dialog like I showed you before and you can see that this pops up now. Now I'm going to warn you because you're not always going to use this and a lot of people will toggle it off because this gets annoying. Down at the bottom here, you can actually tweak this. So you can show only the fields, only the add-on. You can do auto hide where you you know drag this over or you can do um, both. So you can kind of do however. You can make it larger and smaller and whatever. But this is kind of the home page for this add-on. The idea is this is going to help you to add flashcards and then review them. And of course, you're going to be doing it from PDFs, but you can also do it from videos and all sorts of things. So here's the PDFs that I've already added, just a few. Uh, these are ones I just found for free online. And then I've got a folder here. And I'm going to show you the simplest way to add a new PDF, just like if you're just getting started. You can go up here and click Import. So here's the menu for it. Import. You can create new, web, YouTube, or you can do it from a CSV. So if we create new here, it's going to pull up this. And so a new note within this add-on means a new PDF or something that you're going to use to study and gather information from and then you're going to make flashcards from that. So then you can find a PDF here. You can go find it in your on your web browser. Now another way you can do this is if you have a folder, like I'm just going to open this up and I click this, I can drag that into here, boom. Now same thing, pops that up and now I have that already in here. So I'm going to do that and this is a dermatology handbook that I found online. And then tags, you can add whatever you want, but this is a tag that's going to get added to all the cards that you're making from that PDF. So if I type M, you can see I already have some tags in there and it brings them up. So I'm going to do medicine. And then the priority thing, this is kind of confusing. So you've got spaced repetition for how you're doing your flashcards. This add-on is going to do spaced repetition for adding flashcards, which is kind of cool. But basically you're It'll every day it'll show you some PDFs and say, hey, this is the one that you marked as the higher priority or whatever. So this is the one you should be learning content from today. So that's where the priority comes into place. So if this is something I really want, I'm going to set it to 100. Now you can look through all this. There's a lot of information. So if you only wanted to study this on weekdays, for example, and you don't want it on the weekends, or you you want this to show up every couple days or whatever, and then it's going to add it to the queue. Now you can see I have three PDFs already in the queue, but this is going to add this flashcard into the queue so I'm going to create that and we'll close this and so that's what this main screen here you've got PDFs that you can click you can sort through things you can see here's the one that uh, that it popped up if you click this button you can see your queue and here like I said here's the stuff that I have now this one was already scheduled for today so that's why it popped up and then I added this one and scheduled for today because it had such a high priority so it's next in line now these ones don't have as high of a priority so they're not as much now also from this queue manager view, you can see here's the tags and you click on them, you can see, oh, there's actually a PDF here that we don't have in the queue. We've just uploaded it, but it's not gonna like automatically show it to us every day. So the workflow is kind of that you're gonna add these and then you're gonna go through your queue every day to get through those PDFs and learn some information. So let's go into one of those. And if we go to read first in queue, 
it's going to pop this up. Now you see it says like, hey, you've already made some cards and that's because I did right before I was making this video. But we're going to say, no, it's okay. I want to continue reading the PDF. So it's going to pull up a PDF like this for you that you can make flashcards from. Now you you can control you know which page you're on here. There's all sorts of settings here. I'm going to kind of go over that. And you also have up here, this is a Pomodoro timer. So you can kind of set it to like, hey, I'm going to study this PDF, make flashcards for 30 minutes, then I'm going to go review the flashcards. And you can see down here, it's got all of these, uh, the, the ones that are the next in the queue. So I can say, you know, I've read this, I've read this page, I read this page, whatever. You can, you can kind of tell it so that you can see which ones you've read and which ones you haven't. There's also this button down here that lets you see. So I can see, oh, on page nine, I actually made one flashcard and this is the flashcard that I made. Now we could go to, let's close this out. We're on page nine right now, and you can see I made the flashcard actually from up here. But let's just make a flashcard from any of these. So you could say, uh, oops, we could just highlight however you want, although the law approves, the law is not greater than ethics. Okay, now it's gonna pull up um, the, any flashcards or anything that are related to what you just highlighted, which is kind of cool. It's kind of like the pop-up dictionary. And it also lets you generate closes. And so you can create, and now I can generate this, and I could send it over here and click text, and you'll see now it throws that up there, which is kind of cool. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work super fantastic all the time, so I'm actually going to delete that. This is where this Tech Sniper app comes into play. Uh, it's only for Mac, actually. Let me come over here. And this is what it looks like. Like I said, there's a discount code in the description of this video. Um, I really like this, and I'm about to show you. Come over here. I'm going to capture text. So if I go here and I capture this text, it's going to screenshot it to my clipboard. I come here and paste, and now it pastes all of the text that I just had. Super cool add-on, seriously. Even if you're not using it, or even if you're not using it with this add-on, this app, Text Sniper, is really handy. So that's what's called Text Sniper. If you're on a Windows, I have heard that Capture to Text works well. I have not personally used it, so just FYI, but I've heard that it works similarly. Okay, so we've got our stuff here. And now you'll notice, hey, I've got this in the sources. That's the name of the PDF. That's cool. That's also a setting that you can configure. So we'll go up here, add-on settings. And under general here, you can see it says auto fill fields with the title of the source into any field named source or sources. Now let's just default into the add-on. I had to create a field on my note type for the, that was named sources so that it would do that. But also notice that my tag down here, business, is also down there. So all of these things can get added automatically if you want them to. Um, and that's that's just one handy little thing. And um, I'll show you real quick. If we get out of the business ethics and we go to a different PDF like the dermatology handbook, notice that it changes and the tag changes to medicine. So kind of handy. Anyway, that's that's the gist of it. The idea is you go through here and we'll flip to a page where there's a bunch of stuff and you make your flashcards so you go here and I'm actually gonna use the text sniper we'll screenshot that come over here and make a closed deletion and now we've got a flashcard and we can click add and we've got a flashcard and now if like I said if you go here you can see that flashcard will pop up as we just did it so as soon as we're done with this what you can do is say like I'm done studying this PDF for the day you can change the priority you can change the schedule you can do whatever you can postpone it say I don't want to do it you could just go to a random one but if I click done it theoretically should go to whichever one is next in the queue or like next to be due. So I'm going to hit done and it'll ask like, do you want to change the priority? Do you want to change it? Whatever. And I'll say, no, that's fine. Like, okay. And we go back in and it's going to pop up to whatever one is the next in line. So lots of cool things you can do there. The other things you can do, <laughs> and I know this is a lot. It's just one of the fun things of this add-on. You can bookmark, you can mark things as hard, whatever, just to kind of remind yourself. You can add text here. So notice when I click that, it says control click to insert text, control click again to remove. So you can actually add text in here uh, wherever you want and you can move it around. You can add text boxes. If you click here, it's the same thing. Control to highlight, control shift A to area highlight. So I click this and I can highlight. Oops, didn't hold control down. So there we go. Now it highlights like that. And if you click it again, it deletes it. You can do this one 
which will, should uh, underline things. You just click it again to do it. And if we do Control Shift A, oops, that's not what we wanted. Control Shift and we area highlight. <laughs> you can see I did quite a bit. Anyway, so there's lots of different tools here that lets you use things as you're going. Um, and it, just to kind of like organize yourself to create flashcards. The idea is that you're studying this PDF and you're making flashcards as you go. So, oops. Uh, so I clicked the checkbox there on accident. But if you do that same thing, it's just going to say like we're done with it. Just like as if we'd hit the done button. Other than this, there's not any like super crucial things that I would share with you for a beginner level. That's the idea. The things I do want to share with you, I'm going to go back here, is that it's not just PDFs. That's kind of what I had thought. Is you can actually do quite a bit of things. So I'm going to go back here. We'll go do import from YouTube. And I've pulled up one of my YouTube videos. Let's say you're watching this and you want to study this. We can copy put the YouTube video in it will actually pull that up and similar to how we had it you can set the priority wherever you want it better be a hundred if it's my video and uh, <laughs> then you can change all of this whatever and create it so you can create that and then it will store down here and then you can click on that to study it and it'll actually have a video and so you can make flashcards from the video as you're doing it and then if we go into it a little bit I can actually save my position so you know at 128 we come back and if I go back here it's actually going to open it up at that position so you can be studying languages you could be studying whatever I think the video feature is actually really handy the other thing that's really handy and I've actually already done this let's see it is right here skin lesions if I hit edit you'll see that it is a website <clears throat> and it saved it in a folder which you can configure in the settings but I wouldn't even bother with it because I never have what I did is I pulled up this website and I copied this and then I went in here like I wanted to import a new thing and you can import from a website oops enter and then you can import as PDF you can import as markdown or I actually you can go in here to notes create note same thing you can do PDF from web page put that in import give it a title test and you can add tags this one's medicine this is actually a skin repeat because we already added it in but I'll do it again just so you know there you go now you can see that's what it looks like and if you do that it pulls in the title and all of that information pulls in the website for you so you can edit from websites the last trick I will teach you uh, is if we go to create and you add a title I'm just going to call this markdown because it is markdown and I'm not going to add anything else to it no source no PDF whatever and I click create it's actually going to see if we can find it here um, PDFs there we go markdown if we click it what it does is it creates a markdown thing that you can actually start adding text to so you could copy and paste from other resources and then study from that I know that's a lot it's a really cool add-on. It's actually constantly being updated, which is really cool. It means that it's uh, well-maintained by the add-on author. They've done a really, really impressive job of it. Like I said, there's a ton of settings. There's all sorts of stuff. I wouldn't worry about that if you're just getting started. If you're just getting started, do like what I'm doing here. Basically, you're just going through it. You mark when you've read things so that you can see. You make flashcards from it. You can highlight the flashcards and create flashcards. Can use the Pomodoro timers. The idea is you import a PDF, then you go to your queue every day. Remember, back up to here, read first in queue, and you can go through the queue until you've, you know, whatever you're on, go through things, make some flashcards as you go, and then go review them. Uh, and I was told, I've never personally used this, if you go to the add on settings here, up to interleaving, this is actually a really handy setting. Uh, it just basically is like, I'm going to interrupt you every time you've made so many flashcards or whatever until you stop making flashcards, go review flashcards. And it's just kind of a way to like simplify your workflow and help you out. Very basic introduction. Like I said, if there's interest, we can talk about doing one in the future again. But hopefully this was a helpful uh, thing. I would love to hear your comments. So comment on the video. Let me know what you thought, what you'd like to learn more about. And definitely subscribe to our channel for more content like this. 
Thanks for learning with the Onking. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here as well as follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Patreon. That is at OnkingMed. Also, feel free to reach out via email or check out our website, OnkingMed.com, for more tips and tricks.